Now then guys, welcome back to George's Minecraft channel. I've got a bit of a different video for you today. We're not in any of his normal series that we do. I'm kind of doing like a bit of a one-off thing. I'm going to be talking to you about how I approach big projects in Minecraft and how I get them done and kind of the process and my thought process of how I, how I approach these bigger projects. And what we've got here is a floor plan. This is how every project starts for me, whether it's a giant castle, like where I've got planned here, or whether it's like a, a small house. I always, always start with a floor plan. And this shape here, what we see on the floor, this is going to be the same. Hopefully, it's going to resemble something uh, the same from when we look above it when the project's done. And I've kind of just put in some signs for the different rooms. So we're going to have like a grand hall here, which is going to be good. Um, we're also going to have maybe a throne room at the back, kind of around here. Yep, throne room. Every castle needs a throne room. And just at the side here, a little outdoor area with some gardens. And uh, yeah, Shadow Dragon calls doing this part, that's cool. Yeah, I'm building this with, with Shadow Dragon, it's kind of for her kingdom. I'm going to have some more rooms here, and we're going to have uh, a tower here, which is going to be really cool. So yeah, this is the floor plan. The next thing I'd do is kind of start working out uh, the framework for the build. And this will give you a general idea of the shape and the height of the build, which is kind of, it turns it from a two-dimensional plan into a three-dimensional plan. And this is how I'll kind of start out and, and work it out. I'll kind of work out where the different floors are going to go. So uh, we're going to have a floor there. And then I like to leave a gap between the next floor, just in case we decide uh, the, the ceiling needs to be higher, or if we want to put a, a nice ceiling design on that's a couple of blocks deep. So this is what I'll do. Generally, I try to make my floors at least four blocks high, and then we always have that uh, couple of blocks that we can kind of play with if we need it, if we need the ceiling to be a little bit taller. So this is for the main throne, uh, for the main grand hall rather. And I'll kind of go around and do this for each of the buildings that we're going to have in the castle, or for each part of the castle. And this kind of process, it applies to any large build in Minecraft. It doesn't necessarily have to be a castle. It could be a mansion, it could be a giant farm, it could be any kind of base really. But this is the process I go through. And once we've kind of got all these all these frames kind of linked up and connected together, I'll probably catch up with you guys then and go into a little bit more detail about that. So yeah, I'm going to get to work on this and I'll see you in a second. And it looks a bit of a, a bit of a mess, <laughs> but uh, yeah, hopefully it'll all make sense to you. We've kind of got this main cube in the middle. That's the grand hall. This is where uh, the biggest room's going to be. We're going to have this little porch area coming just off uh, kind of the entrance to the castle here, which is going to be nice. And then we're going to have the, the throne room at the back here. It's going to be a little bit lower than the grand hall, just so it adds a little bit of height variation to the roof, makes the build a little bit more interesting. And we've kind of got other bits and bats, like there's going to be a building here that juts out, maybe it's some sort of bedroom. That's just going to be an exterior wall. And um, we've got kind of these towers that I've just done a block in the middle to get an idea of the height. That one being the tallest at the back there. Kind of got the entrance worked out. We're going to have a kind of a big tower here, the second tallest tower. And then the rest of this is just kind of where the exterior walls are going to go. A little extra building just on the side there. But that's pretty much uh, the framework in place for the castle. So... Now we've got all this in, we can get started on the actual build itself. And what I'll start by doing is just go around kind of uh, the outside of the castle or the, the outer parts and just start fleshing it out with, with blocks. Now I'm using obviously mainly stone for this palette. We'll kind of come to the inside buildings afterwards. I'll just start with uh, the outermost parts of the castle and go around fleshing them out. And I like coming down here and looking up at it. You can kind of really get an idea of what it's going to look like when it's done with all this framework in place. 
So yeah, that's where I'm going to get to get to work on now. Just these outermost parts of the castle. Get the kind of get the main blocks in. It will look a little bit plain, but the detailing comes after. I always like to get the block shapes in and fleshed out first before I start work on the detailing. So that's kind of the next step for for what I'd do is just kind of flesh everything out. And we're going to come all the way around here to the side and all the way around the back and all the way around the other side just so the outermost parts are finished. And then once we've done that uh, we can move on to the, the more inner parts and we can start working out uh, working out some of the more details. We've got this kind of curved wall around the side here. I really like that. Anyway guys, I'll get to work and catch up with you after I've done that. Okay, so that's the kind of outer parts of the castle done now. You kind of see most of the block shapes around the sides are done. We've just got the big kind of gap on the inside, but it's starting to take shape. You kind of get an idea of uh, what the castle's going to look like. And we've got these towers kind of in, we've got these outer walls all in, which is looking really, really cool. What I'm going to do next is I'm just going to go ahead and fill the rest of the walls in, uh, kind of inside uh, inside the main castle walls. So getting this main hall in, uh, all these bits that kind of jut out, just all these walls on the inside, I'm going to get them all built up so the whole thing will then be nice and fleshed out. And then I end up with something like this, and as you can see, everything's all been uh, all been filled in now, and it's this is it kind of like I say it looks a bit blocky and a bit plain, but we'll get on to detailing it in just a bit. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with this little bit out the front there, but as for the most part, the castle's all fleshed out, and uh, what I want to do is kind of. Maybe just come round and uh, come down and take a look at it, just so we get an idea of how grandiose this thing looks. Oh yeah, yeah, it's going to look really good. I think from now what I want to do is just get the roofs on. And then once the roofs are on, uh, that's really going to kind of put us in a good place to start working on the details. So when I see you next, we'll have all the roofs of this thing on. Just like this, and wow, there's uh, there's Shadow Dragon. She's been really helpful, as has uh, Big Banana Boss. They've been helping out a lot on this project. But yeah, now the roofs are on. Yeah, this is it's just brought the castle to life now. I mean, you can see the kind of the main shape of the castle, what it's going to look like. And this bit of roof was ridiculously hard, kind of getting this tower to go into the roof. That was a really tricky part, but we managed. And uh, yeah, there is one thing I'm not too sure about. This tower looks ridiculously tall. Uh, I had to make it a bit higher so you could see it over the roof. So maybe this bit at the back we're going to raise up just to give it a little bit more structural integrity. So other than that, this thing has pretty much stuck exactly to the plan. We've got a cool little archway here. And yeah, so after we've done this, all the roofs are on. What we need to do is start putting in the windows, putting in the details, and finishing the exterior off. Once all the details are in, this is my absolute favourite part. Because this is where the castle absolutely comes to life. We've got some phantoms. But yeah, I'm going to put in all the details. And when I see you, we should have something that resembles a finished castle exterior. And here we have it. Look at this. This is so cool. This is probably one of my favourite builds I've done. Uh, but yeah, basically all I've done is added a bunch of windows and some kind of little roofs that go over. A couple of spiky things on the roof, uh, on the ceilings, on the roofs. And we've got kind of this purple glass with these kind of black accents in the corners. These are the, these are the kind of theme colours of the kingdom. The kingdom's called Freyvault, by the way. That's what uh, Shadow Dragon decided to call it. The big main tower hasn't got any details on it. The reason for that is I kind of need to work out the interior first before I work out where the windows are going to go. But other than that, this exterior is done. And if you remember right at the start of the video, this thing just started out as a, a floor plan, a few blocks on the floor. And uh, kind of the process that followed, kind of bit by bit, 
we ended up getting uh, getting this pretty cool thing. Shadow Dragon's gone ahead and done some of these little bits uh, just on uh, the outside, which I think looks looks really cool. This interior isn't going to get done today. We're probably going to. I think I'm, I might even do another video on that. So if you want, uh, if you want to see how I do my interiors, leave a comment below. Let me know, uh, and I can always do a video on how we approach the interior of this. But yeah, uh, let's just come back outside because uh, the exterior is more what this what this uh, video is about. And I think this thing looks awesome. It, it's just so grandiose. It looks so majestic on top of the hill there. I'm really happy with how this came out. And like I say, you literally go from a floor plan to a bit of framework, and slowly but surely you end up with something like this. I think it's been about three days of just solid building. It's been pretty intense, but uh, this thing's so cool. Anyway, guys, I hope that's kind of helped explain uh, how we can approach big projects in Minecraft and how we can get them done without kind of getting demotivated if you enjoyed the video please leave a like it would be much appreciated if you want uh, if you want to see me tackle the interior leave a comment and let me know uh, the server ip is in the description and i'll see you guys in the next one